And we begin with explosive claims from Tom Ridge, the country's first Secretary of Homeland Security and former Pennsylvania governor. In a new book, Ridge accuses top advisors to George W. Bush of playing politics with America's fear of terrorism before the 2004 election. Our White House correspondent Ed Henry has details. The Friday before the 2004 election, only two or three points separated Democrat John Kerry from President Bush. Suddenly, a twist. Osama bin Laden released a shocking new videotape, and it played nonstop on the Arab language network Al Jazeera. Your security is not in the hands of Kerry or Bush or Al Qaeda. Your security is in your own hands. The next morning, just 72 hours before the polls opened, the president's top security advisors, including Donald Rumsfeld and John Ashcroft, huddled for an urgent meeting to decide whether to raise the color-coded threat level from yellow to orange. Then Homeland Security Secretary Tom Ridge reveals in an explosive new book, a vigorous, some might say dramatic discussion ensued. Ashcroft strongly urged an increase in the threat level and was supported by Rumsfeld. He goes on, there was absolutely no support for that position within our department. None. I wondered, is this about security or politics? Post-election analysis demonstrated a significant increase in the president's approval ratings in the days after the raising of the threat level. The Bush campaign was already pushing the envelope on frightening voters. Listen to then-Vice President Cheney just 10 days before the bin Laden tape. The ultimate threat is the possibility of their succeeding and getting, uh, say, a biological agent or a nuclear weapon, smuggling it into the United States, into one of our own cities, and uh, raising the specter of, of, of being able to kill hundreds of thousands of Americans. In the summer of 2004, just a few days after the Democratic National Convention, the White House had raised the threat level, drawing charges of political manipulation that were sharply denied by Bush officials like Ridge at the time. Uh, we don't do politics in the Department of Homeland Security. But now, at that tense meeting the weekend before the election, Ridge writes that it, quote, seemed possible to me and to others around the table that something could be afoot other than simple concern about the country's safety. In the end, however, the threat level was not raised. After Ridge claims he and others pulled Rumsfeld and Ashcroft, quote, back from the brink. But Ridge says the episode left him disillusioned. He writes, I knew I had to follow through on my plans to leave the federal government. He tendered his resignation within a month of the election. He concluded, I considered that episode to be not only a dramatic moment in Washington's recent history, but another illustration of the intersection of politics, fear, credibility, and security. But other Bush officials in the meeting, including CNN contributor Fran Townsend, insist Ridge is wrong. Townsend says politics was never discussed at the meeting, and the discussion was based solely on intelligence. John, Kieran? All right, Dan Henry for us uh, from the White House this morning. We also want to point out, too, that we'll be talking with Fran Townsend later on in this hour. Right now, we want to bring in Jean Meserve on this. She covers Homeland Security for CNN. Are you surprised that uh, Tom Ridge has come out with these accusations, Jean? Yeah, you know I am. This is a man who I never saw pick an argument, even with a press corps, and Lord knows we're an easy target. Uh, very amiable guy. I was quite surprised to see this man, who appeared to be the consummate team player, uh, come out with this book. Now, there's been a lot of speculation about Tom Ridge's political ambitions. Perhaps he's trying to put some distance between himself and the Bush administration, but it's unclear how that might play. John? He also had some interesting things to say, Gene, about the interaction between the various agencies and the government and the lack of cooperation between the Department of Defense and the FBI. What did he have to say? Well, uh, he said, for instance, that he had a hard time talking to Donald Rumsfeld, that Rumsfeld, uh, when he tried to buttonhole him, would sort of uh, brush him off. He said he wasn't included in National Security Council meetings. He said the FBI uh, often blindsided him with information that hadn't been shared. I never knew as a reporter covering Ridge about any of those specific things, but I can tell you that he did talk about problems with information sharing. This morning I went over the transcript of an, inter of an interview I did with him uh, when he was leaving office and he talked about the difficulty of being the new kid on the block, how other agencies simply did not want to share the information and how he felt that was a disadvantage to DHS. Gene okay. Meserve in Washington this morning, Gene, thanks. And again, a programming note, CNN contributor Francis Townsend, who was George W. Bush's Homeland Security Advisor at the time that uh, Ridge says these decisions were being made, uh, is going to be with us. We'll be talking to her in the next half hour here of the Most News in the Morning.